All right, it is time for the last day of Snowbound. So, this is going to be a little bit different because this mod is pretty vanilla friendly when it comes to items and building. So, a lot of what I would show off would be pretty standard Krieg gameplay, you know, your legendary Reaper with Bloodbath, your torch with the, the Flame of the Firehawk and the Grog and whatever fire weapons you want, legendary Sickle where you just hit dudes or not yourself in this mod, I guess, so that's actually pretty nice. And then like maybe a niche case for like a javelin with flesh crunch and then you swap over to your field of blood calm for something. Stuff like that, you know. So instead, for the first little bit today, we are going to go ahead and farm out some binary, get a little bit of some general loot, and then we will just test out said loot because some things are different in this mod. There are items apparently that pair with this Praetor key that we have. And I want to see what those are. So it drops from binary. We need to do some binary. So yeah, we'll do that for a little bit and then maybe just go test out some stuff and shoot some dudes. Oh, we have the rocket that pairs with the shield already. That's actually the item we needed. So, this rocket fires the laser rockets with a massive splash radius, high impact, always equipped with specific parts and cannot come equipped with a hybrid. And then the set bonus is basically paired with a specific item, so the shield in the situation, and it gets a special buff. So I guess we should shoot it without the shield on first. We have an OP level, let's go. That seems interesting, let's put this on. It shoots two now. Cool, okay, sure. I guess we'll have to go test if this is actually strong. Damage-wise, it doesn't look incredible, but I could just be OP, we don't know yet. We've got Captain Blade's auto idle. Killing an enemy restores a portion of your health. I'm not playing Maya with recompense, but that's cool still. All right, so testing out the Unmaker really quick. Go ahead and just see how it performs. Not incredible damage, but I guess we can trigger Bloodbath with it. And blow ourselves up. We have ammo regen with it too, though, so that is pretty cool. Okay, I mean, this is just a, a fun spammy thing. Very interesting. Yeah, this just seems like a good replacement for the Norfleet. It's somehow more interesting to look at than it too. Also, I would like to say that we are slowly gaining stacks with it. And the stacks are increasing the amount of pellets that we fire. Which is interesting, and I'm curious how high it can go. Because right now it's times four, but I, I doubt it could go much higher. Wait a minute, it's increasing my Pella count for other guns, too. I feel like it's trying to... I definitely think it's not supposed to keep stacks or gain stacks for other weapons. But if that's a byproduct and they're just okay with that, then that would be super duper sick. Because, yeah, you just put it on something like this and then just hee hee haw, you know, just shoot people with it. Okay, maybe. You know, while on the surface this is blatantly overpowered, I would like to point out, also times 8, I would like to point out the fact that you only get this after you've killed Binary and Digipeak, and it's probably only good against normal adds. I wouldn't imagine it's incredible against raids. I could try to take it up against something, though, just to see. Maybe Pete? Not really sure. All right, so Pete, we are gonna go ahead and just spawn a bunch of dudes to go ahead and get some kills and bloodbath and stuff stacked. Yeah, I mean, it's doing damage. 
But compared to just lining up a blood explosion, probably not as much as we could be doing. Uh, that's a little strong. Also kind of destroying my computer. But in a funny way. Oh, oh. Alright, we did get in capped with no one around. So, really, really strong. Probably not intended for raid bossing, but could be used for raid bossing. And we don't know how high the stacks go. We don't know if it's always a dark magic element for the lifesteal on shot. All that stuff is up in the air. So, really, really strong, funny gun. I really like it. I'm glad that it's here. Okay, so I have just been told the fact that it stacks is not supposed to happen. It's still super duper funny though, so I, I think it should stay. We've got Infinity 2. Okay, so infinite ammo, shot form in the shape of an infinity. Yes, if you got an element on this, if that's possible, I don't really know. This could be a really fun Hellborn Krieg gun, especially since it has that fixed shot pattern. Even if you like reduced your accuracy a little bit to go ahead and take advantage of blood trance, you could probably still put in a lot of nasty work. Very cool. Ah, we have another Unmaker. It has the exact same stats, and it's also Dark Magic, so I'm gonna assume it probably is just that. We have a shield called Inspire. Extended Fight for Your Lifetime, and while in Fight for Your Life, gain increased damage, fire rate, and reload speed. That's kind of neat, I guess. Just a turtle shield with that. Okay, sure. We've got an elephant gun, fires an additional delayed bullet that accelerates rapidly, high damage, low fire rate, reload speed, and mag size. Okay, cool, interesting. Hold on, how did I not test this? Okay, so this thing gets extra projectiles. How does that interact with drunk? That's fun. And the fire rate's still reasonably usable, too. Alright. I know this is basically more testing of the exact same gun, but it's kind of just funny. So I want to do it for a little bit. Oh. Oh, I figured out why the effect is stacking. Okay, so if you quickly tap away and back to the gun before it has time to fully switch, it doesn't try to remove the stack that you have for it. And so anytime I've been doing this to cancel a reload interrupt, like cancel a reload, it's been adding more and more stacks to the gun. Which also means that this is gonna get fixed, number one, but also number two, that I could just sit here and just do this, and then just find a guy, a volunteer, if you will. <laughs> and do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As intended. Now, if you too want your computer to be upset at you, go ahead and download the mod before it gets changed. Because, I mean, like, come on. Who doesn't want this for their computer? Alright, so we're just gonna get a hundred stacks real quick. Just to be pretty safe. Go ahead and get some leech action going on as well, so that we can get some bloodlust stacks. And then whenever we hit 100 bloodlust stacks, we will go ahead and just start shooting people. Eh, 
Eh, 40 is close, right? Yes, of course, my favorite slideshow presentation, Borderlands 2. Okay, so I'm gonna say that we went a little bit overboard on accident. Um, so we might, might just save quit, dial it back a little bit, and then do it again. Wait, how did I already forget? You can use this effect on other guns. Do we have anything that would be exceptionally crime to use with this? I mean, the Norfleets are funny, and they have a higher base damage. Yeah, probably. Alright, we're just gonna kinda... Oh, hold on, I'm reloading. Block line of sight so we don't get hit with the fire nova. Okay, back to DPS. Ow. He still won. Fair enough. The Wanderlust, oh, of course. <laughs> cool. Alright, so one last test with the funny overstacking that we're not supposed to have. You know, since it was already doing so strong by itself, might as well just make it worse. And just make a ton of little murder projectiles. Alright, I've been told to get the gub. Apparently there's some stuff that goes on with it. Well, that's a sloth. But we'll find the gub. Hey, the gub. Oh, hold on. Alright, so... We're gonna go ahead and save quit to make sure we don't have stacks affecting the gun, but... Fire is a barrage of bouncing bullets, a high projectile count, fire rate, and mag size. Always corrosive. Okay. Go ahead and reload. Ah, yes. Interesting. Well, I, I, I feel obligated to first off try it with the drunk effect, of course. Nice. And then just do Unmaker about it. There's so many bullets that they stop visually being available to see. That's incredible. Nice. Average Krieg gameplay. All right, so we got a Norfleet. We've got a Fortuna Unforgiven. Though so the Unforgiven does Unforgiven stuff. And then the Fortuna, of course, is all stats increased. That's a lot of crit. Even for a hybrid. That's like... Probably too much crit. I'll have to shoot a guy with this. We also have a shield called the Alchemist has a chance to spawn a potion booster, which increases all weapon stats when consumed. Okay, sure. All right, so we've got the convention, which is that singularity large AOE nade, and it is corrosive this time, so that can come in different elements, but really quick, just to show it. Hole, and then big explosion. That's pretty much its special effect. All right, and for testing out the Unforgiven, I'm going with robots because, quite simply, they just move slow and have a lot of crits. 
super slow fire rate. Probably not the best character to run damage on a Jacob's Pistol with. Honestly, maybe Reaper Maya could probably one-shot a lot of basic adds with this. Yeah, because that's almost a one-shot already. And then that's without Bloodbath proc to actually like give us some gun damage. So this is super duper strong. You just need to find a way to get that fire rate up, probably. Okay, cool. We've got Ruby Spite. Fires three homing projectiles. Killing an enemy increases fire rate to all weapons for a limited time. And it's always dark magic. Okay. So you could almost use this in place of a moxie, but you would actually have to get shots on target with this gun. So that is kind of interesting. Let me go ahead and shoot it a little bit. What? Or, oh wait, right, it's because I have the times 15. But okay, just imagine three normal, not multiplied projectiles. That's probably what that would look like. Okay. We've got a bear cat. I am assuming it's just probably buffed a little bit, since a lot of mods like to buff the Bearcat. Alright, so the Ruby Spite Pistol... Actually, like, normal, if you don't have all that nonsense going on. And also, that's kind of sick. Because you can just stay mobile while you're using this, but you still have super cool projectiles to watch fly at enemies. And then let me go ahead and test out the Bearcat. It's a little weak, but we are also not proccing Bloodbath yet with it. So once we get that rolling, maybe it'll feel a little bit better, probably. Yeah, okay. It's doing damage. Of course, it's not fire, so we could be doing a lot more damage. Also, danger close, kind of a problem with this gun. Yeah, it's kind of just doing slightly better Bearcat stuff than normal. Now, I haven't really tested this because I didn't feel like it would be the case, but I haven't really tested the Flacker for Flacker swapping. I've noticed that the projectiles it fires are different than the vanilla projectiles, but I haven't actually if they still can be swapped to a rocket launcher or something. So over here, a binary, we're just gonna... I think that's better? Yeah, okay, so you can still flack or swap if you wanted to, you know, crime a little bit. We have the bullus. Okay, so this thing fires missiles which create additional slag homing rockets mid-flight. Killing an enemy depletes enemy shields and grants shield regen. Always fire. Okay, so this could be really fun on Krieg. It is... Oh, that's a Mongol. That's just a Mongol with homing little slag pellets. Okay, I'm gonna shoot a guy with this, but that's absurd. Alright, walking into Bloodshot with this thing with a Firehawk on, and I'm just gonna run a Reaper, because I imagine this might trigger Bloodbath for itself, so it's probably good for damage for that. And then just the the same old build that we have been running pretty much the entire game. It is melee, but, I mean, at level 80, it's basically everything at this point. So, we've got the projectiles, which are not homing. We've got the slag projectiles, which are homing. We've got a man shooting me and me instantly dying. This is pretty normal OP-10 activities. That damage isn't super strong, but we could trigger Bloodbath, and then we could also run a couple of our Hellborn effects. It'd probably make it pick up a little bit. All right, first man down. Hmm. Yeah, I think one of the main problems with holding this is that we don't really have too much healing, which probably is fine because we can just run Torch about it, and then we can just get a bunch of lifesteal from Elemental Empathy. But yeah, it certainly takes a second to get rid of guys. Oh, you know what? Maybe this isn't too good with the whole Hellborn build, since killing enemies makes our shield regen. 
which interrupts our flame. Okay, so maybe this isn't the funny Krieg gun that I thought it would be. But it's still good for flesh targets because it does drop their shield, so you can just focus fire on them. So it's still an interesting gun, but it just wouldn't work with the Firehawk. We've got Guts. Okay, it, it has Choom on it, so it's a reference to Cyberpunk. I really thought this was just going to be a reference to Berserk, which I'm kind of sad about. Uh, increased blast radius, a high damage projectile count and fire rate, low accuracy and mag size. Okay, so yeah, this is a Torg Shoddy. We do have stacks of the Unmaker right now. Let me see if I can wipe those off. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's just kind of a, an explodey shotgun. Kind of cool. All right, and honestly, I think that'll go ahead and do it. There is a lot of cool stuff in this mod. It's pretty vanilla friendly though for the most part, and the movement has been super duper fun. Of course, I'm probably missing out on a few items as of course there's always gonna be more hidden here and there, but this has been really fun. I would totally recommend this mod. Day 10.